Okay, so I have my scene here, and I got my timeline, and the timeline uh, has a... Uh, let's see, I got camera shot one and camera shot two. So that's to virtual camera one, and over here to virtual camera two, uh, which is up closer to the... To the uh, sand and when I press play we should see the camera show here and then it goes up here and the focus is the character here so we can see the look at is Steve and I want to animate Steve so I go to add a animation track and that needs an animator so Steve has an animator. Now there's no animation controller, but uh, with this I don't know if I need it because essentially this seems like it's controlling the animations to me. I want to do root motion, so I'm going to add Steve into the here. And I noticed I can uh, add it from an animation clip. And if I do a walking animation walk in place or walk forward and let's say I want to drag that out for a little while now you'll see what happened already is the character has got moved to zero 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 and that's the whole problem so I don't want the character to be at zero 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 um, even though I'm using root motion I don't want the character to be there so 2.6 and negative 1 is the pos starting position and if I press play you'll see that the character gets moved underground to its 0 0 0 location and if I do 2.6 negative 1 and say I were to select onto the timeline just hit play it the characters moved to zero 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 and there he is down there so if I unlock this for example and fix the characters position again and now I click on the timeline boom snaps them down to zero 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 so maybe I'm doing something wrong um, but that's one huge problem that I haven't figured out yet thanks for the help